Jennifer Lopez has built quite the real estate portfolio over the span of her successful career. Not only does she own an impressive family home in Bel Air worth 28 mil, which we'll take a look at, she also owns a few more multi million dollar mansions. From the beach house her and her man A Rod bought in Malibu to her getaway in the Hamptons, which JLo calls her favorite, and more, it's hard to choose which estate is the nicest. After seeing them all in this video, I'm sure you guys will know which one you like best. Jennifer Lopez is a timeless celebrity and aside from all her talent, she's well known for looking way younger than she really is, and super fit. We actually did a before and after video of her on this channel and I found out how hard the woman really does work to stay looking so amazing. She's dedicated, that's for sure. Over her years in the spotlight, Jennifer, or JLo as we know her, has given us so many hit songs and just kept working hard and entertaining her fans. I love JLo and when some of you requested we do a house tour on her, I was excited. At the time of this recording, JLo is 50 years old, which is almost impossible to believe, and she's an actress, singer, dancer, business woman, fashion designer, and more. Not to mention she's a mom of two. Her man since 2017 is Alex Rodriguez and at the moment they're engaged. JLo and A-Rod make a perfect couple in my opinion and since becoming a couple, they've also invested into some properties together. JLo is regarded as the most influential Latin performer in the US according to Wikipedia, as well as being ranked the most powerful celebrity in the world back in 2012. She's received plenty of awards and honors over the years, including a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Sources say that Miss Lopez makes around 40 mil per year, and her estimated net worth at the moment is around 400 million. Either way, it's well deserved because the woman keeps working her ass off with what seems to be new projects year after year between movies, music, and everything else. With all of JLo's fortune, she's purchased some gorgeous properties and owns places all over the US. Hey guys, it's Kara, and today we're doing another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. We're gonna take a look at JLo's amazing homes, including her new family mansion in Bel Air, her Hamptons house, and more. If you like these videos, make sure you're subscribed and ring that bell to be notified we post so you can always be up to date. We've also done house tours on the likes of Halsey and Rihanna, and we'll have links to those at the end of this. Be sure to follow me on Instagram because I love connecting with you guys. I've also been reading all your comments, and I'm gonna be responding to some at the end of this. I need you to let me know who to do next in the comments down below and whose home you'd like to see. Now let's get into this video. Right before we get into JLo's luxury living situation at the moment, we'll take a look at her humble beginnings and where she grew up as a kid. As you probably know, she hails from the Bronx in New York City and her parents are Puerto Rican. When Jennifer was born, she lived with her family in a small apartment in the Castle Hill neighborhood which is still part of the Bronx. A few years later, her parents saved up some money and purchased a two-story home which was a big deal for them back then. Jenny from the block, as she liked to say, spent most of her childhood in this home with her parents and sisters Linda and Leslie. JLo's childhood home in the Bronx was a humble 1500 square feet and had two beds and three bathrooms. She shared a bedroom with her sister so she had little private space to herself but the home had everything the family needed like a cozy kitchen and living room. JLo was proud of her roots and her life growing up but has still come a long way since. JLo moved out of her family home in the Bronx when she was 18 and since she made it big in Hollywood she lived in many fancy mansions. She had her first multi-million dollar home in Beverly Hills, not surprising, as well as a mansion in Miami and more. JLo bought her home in Miami way back in 2002 and kept it until 2005. She sold it to a couple and more recently the famous musician Phil Collins bought this house for a crazy 33 mil. The home is over 12,000 square feet and sits on 1.2 acres of land. Not to mention it has 200 feet of waterfront overlooking Biscayne Bay. With all the palm trees, there's also plenty of privacy. More recently, JLo got rid of her mansion in the celeb-filled neighborhood of Hidden Hills for 10 mil. This home was a massive 12,129 square feet with 9 bedrooms and 12 bathrooms. She purchased this estate that sits on over 3 acres of land back in 2010 when she was still married to her baby daddy, Mark Anthony. Her Hidden Hills mansion was made up of two huge structures, a main house and then an entertainment pavilion which was connected by an interior bridge. 
Of course, the mansion had fancy formal living and dining areas, a huge family room with a bar, and the master suite offered a fireplace, private terrace, ensuite bathroom, and not one, but two walk-in closets. The two-story entertainment wing had a one-bed and one-bath staff apartment with a full kitchen, lounge and poker nook, a 20-seat movie theater, a gym and dance studio, a recording studio, and a glam factory with four walk-in closets, massage room, and hair and makeup stations. Despite how impressive JLo's Hidden Hills mansion was, she decided to upgrade to her Bel Air place. Our Jenny from the block also kept a couple multi-million dollar spots in her home of New York City, but definitely far from the Bronx. One was a duplex penthouse worth over 26 mil, and the other apartment was smaller, but still 17 million. However, more recently, her and A-Rod decided to sell the New York real estate and instead got their Malibu getaway house. Let's take a look at the spots JLo currently spends her time at. Early last year, JLo and A-Rod purchased a three-story beach house in Malibu. Of course, Malibu, California is just west of LA and well known for its celebrity estates and beaches, including the large Zuma Beach. The couple spent $6.6 .6 million for the Malibu pad and it has 50 feet of beachfront and views of the Pacific Ocean. In fact, all you can see through the windows in the living room is the beautiful waterfront. And if the ocean is too far away, there's a jacuzzi on one of the balconies to relax in. JLo's Malibu getaway is 4,404 square feet and has four beds and three baths. The master suite occupies the entire top floor, so her and A-Rod have their privacy. The previous owner spent over a million on renovations, so the home does and disappoint. Some features of their Malibu property include a home movie theater, oceanfront balcony for the master bedroom, game room, sauna, and even a yoga space. Although the house sits on the beach, JLo has plenty of privacy. The front of the home is hidden behind a secure courtyard entry with vines and potted plants. I'm sure the whole family gets to enjoy beach escapes at this house. In the past, JLo has said her favorite property of all is her place in the Hamptons. She told Ola Magazine it was her dream home. So what does this mansion look like? Let's see. She got this place back in 2013 and it's located in Watermill, New York. Of course, this is a section of the Hamptons, the popular and high profile summer destination for well to do New Yorkers. I'm sure when JLo was growing up in the Bronx, she didn't imagine she'd have a mansion here one day. JLo's mega mansion in the Hamptons costs her over 17 mil and sits on two acres of land. It's 14,000 square feet and has seven beds and 9.5 baths. The main house has multi wings and there are additional living quarters and two detached structures. The Hamptons home has seven fireplaces, five inside and two outside. Side, three or more car garage, two laundry rooms, and even an elevator to take you from floor to floor in the home, in case you don't want to use the stairs. The entryway of the home has gorgeous hallways which connect all the wings of the home. The living room is almost 35 feet long and of course there are sweeping staircases. The home offers heated marble flooring throughout. JLo's master suite here has a private foyer, a 600 square foot bedroom, and a seating area with windows all over, as well as two balconies, two walk-in closets, and an impressive ensuite bathroom. Other features of JLo's Hamptons dream home include a finished basement with additional living space, an office, a home gym, walk-in wine closet, home movie theater, and more. On the grounds outside, you'll find everything from a fenced-in swimming pool, pool house, outdoor shower, and more. It's not hard to see why she calls this place her favorite. Last but not least, let's tour JLo and A-Rod's family mega mansion in Bel Air. The couple got this place a few years back and JLo told Vanity Fair why she was drawn to this home in particular. She said, We walked into this house and I said, this is where I want my kids to grow up. You have to imagine your life and what you want to be in it, and I imagined we would be very happy here no matter what. Bel Air is a fancy yet somewhat secluded residential area in the foothills of the Santa Monica Mountains. It's a popular area for celebs and has two entrance gates from Sunset Boulevard. All the homes in this hood sell for multi-millions of dollars, and JLo's is no different. Her mansion costs her around $28 million to purchase. JLo's Bel Air house is almost 14,000 square feet and has 7 beds and 13 bathrooms. It sits on 2.3 acres of land, and let me just say, this property has everything you can imagine, and then some. The land itself is full of greenery and natural gardens, which also add a ton of privacy to her estate. There's also enough parking space for 17 cars, which I guess comes in handy if you're having a party. The mansion was designed in a French country style, and I personally love the mix of classy and cozy. The main living room has high ceilings and open views of the garden with a gorgeous patio just outside. Some features inside JLo's house include a dream kitchen, a hidden bar, and a home movie theater with 20 seats. 
20 or 30 seats, I can't remember. Either way, it's big. The house even has its own pub. And the outside of the Beller Mansion is probably even more impressive. There are two guest cottages, one with a screen porch and something I've never seen in a backyard before. An amphitheater with seating for a hundred people. JLo can even have her own concert rehearsals there. The grounds look almost jungle-like and there's a bamboo forest, vineyard and a covered bridge you can walk across. There's a bar, an area with a fire pit and a vegetable garden. You'll never be bored either considering there's a games room, mini golf course and a massage room if you're feeling more like relaxing. My favorite part of JLo's yard might just be the pools. Yes, there are more than one. Not only is there a gorgeous infinity edge swimming pool complete with a spa and fountain, they even have their own private man-made lagoon. So after seeing JLo's gorgeous family mansion in Bel Air she lives at with her fiance A-Rod and the kids, it may just be one of my favorite celebrity homes to date. From all of the greenery and outdoor features like the infinity pool and lagoon, and the luxury yet homely decoration and vibe, I think it would be my dream home too. If I had 28 million dollars that is. JLo has called plenty of multi-million dollar houses home over the years and she still currently owns more than one. We've seen her in A-Rod's Malibu Beach House, her mansion in the Hamptons, and her main house in Bel Air. Which one did you like best? Or did you like one of her previous homes better? I think that JLo did a great job building her real estate portfolio just like she did building her successful career and empire. And it doesn't seem like she's slowing down anytime soon. Since I love hearing from you guys and reading your comments, now I'll shout some out from previous videos. If you want me to read yours next time, leave me something nice and I just might. On the Kanye West house tour we just did of his two new ranch properties, Justin Johnson said, I think the ranches are amazing and your presentation is awesome. Keep it up. Kara. Thanks Justin, I appreciate the compliment. I like the ranches too, it's so much property, it would be fun to own. Also on our Kanye vid, Carmen Dilchard said, I catch up with you every Sunday. I try to during the week, but sometimes it's hard. But you really are entertaining. Thanks for what you do. Namaste. So many thanks, Carmen. I'm glad to hear you're staying up to date with the channel. And finally, on our Nathan Schwant before and after, Susie Synth said, Subbed, I feel you have a classy way of reporting the tea. Thanks girl, I love new subscribers and I try to keep it polite to whoever I report on. Alright guys, that's all I could find on Jennifer Lopez's mega mansion in Bel Air and her other properties. What did you guys think about her mansion? What was your favorite part? Like I said, I think JLo's Bel Air mansion is my personal favorite, but all of her properties are beautiful. Definitely hard to choose. Let me know in the comments as well as what other celebrity houses you'd like to see. Follow me on Instagram if you want to chat more and I'll see you next time with some more videos. Bye.